Hello everyone, I'm your trainer Ria and in today's class we are going to talk about bad people. Not really, you know, talk behind someone's back. But we are going to look at those words that will describe a bad person. Let's look at the first one, a crook. Okay. What is a crook? A crook is a criminal or a dishonest person okay now if you if you for example if you're going down the street and you see um, two men okay snatching a lady's purse and running away the first thing that's going to come to your mind is you know please call for help there are two crooks running uh, away with someone's purse okay so probably somebody snatched someone's purse and started running away so you call them crooks or for example a very dishonest person maybe you know somebody okay he or she is an acquaintance and um, you lent him or her some money now that person promised you that she or he will pay you back but didn't maybe he or she fled with the money so you will call that person a crook okay a dishonest person who ran off with your money now a second a second word to describe a bad person or some bad people is a villain okay a villain is a criminal or an unpleasant person now usually when you think about a villain you think about movies right now you might um, you might go and see a movie and there's this negative character a person with um, with a uh, who's, who's bad and who's got very evil status in that movie now you'll call that person a villain okay in a sentence you could always say the villain got a jolly good beating in the film okay so the movie turned out to have a happy ending because the villain got arrested or he was killed or something like that okay now in another situation this is a situation where you can talk about films right but in another situation you can talk about a real life incident maybe there are two lovers okay and um, another person is trying to break their relationship maybe um, Sam and uh, and uh, uh, Vanessa are, are having a relationship and Rhea is um, uh, you know Rhea likes Sam and uh, she wants to break their relationship so Rhea is a villainous okay now that is a female version of the word or the name villain okay I'll just write that down for you this is a female version villainous let's look at a scumbag now a scumbag is a person who is morally wrong okay a person who is morally wrong but is of um, a low status okay now how can we differentiate a scumbag with a crook or a villain for example a person who steals money from somebody okay now in early in an early example um, there were two crooks who uh, who snatched a lady's purse and ran away but if the lady was a was an elderly person or was a disabled person so a scumbag would be a person who snatches her purse knowing that she is an elderly person or a, um, a disabled person someone who cannot run after the crook or cannot run after that that person who snatched her purse so we'll call that person a scumbag he or she is morally wrong but uh, but is also of a very low status okay let's look at an evil witch okay so this one is for ladies only okay it means that uh, it is of a woman whom the speaker feels is very evil so an evil witch is an evil woman okay now if uh, for example if you think in a, in a situation now um, your neighbor is probably fostering her relatives children okay maybe your neighbor's relatives got into some problem in an accident maybe they're sick and she is being given the responsibility to look after her children or to foster her children for a while only now what she does is she is an evil person she treats the children very badly maybe she gives them a beating 
okay, bruises them very badly or does not give them food. Now, she is a very, very mean person, okay, she's an evil woman who does not have a sense of love towards those children who are not her own. So we'll call that, that woman an evil, evil witch, okay? Let's look at what a psycho or, for that instance, a psychopath is, okay? There you go. A psycho or a psychopath. Now, a psycho is a slang or an informal word for a psychopath, okay? So what is a psychopath? Now, a psychopath is a person who is who engages into antisocial or, or very criminal behavior without thinking about someone else who is being victimized, okay? So, in... Oh, sorry, I have to use the green one, okay? So, engages... in antisocial behavior without okay feeling for the victims okay they don't have a sense of feeling towards the people who are being victimized okay so these are psychopaths now i'll give you a very i know it's a it's kind of a horrible example but if you consider a situation which might be in the news you might hear it a lot um someone goes into a school or someone goes at a, some some workplace and they start shooting at innocent people okay so they they do not think about their situation they don't think about the people who are being victimized so those are people who are psychopaths. They don't have a reason to kill. They just go and probably have their reasons of their own, but they go to a, to a place, a certain, in a crowded area, a certain school or, or probably a workplace and start shooting people or killing them. So, so bad, isn't it? Well, those are psycho or psychopaths. Let's look at a nasty piece of work. Now, a nasty piece of work are cruel or mean people okay now for example you are at work okay you are at work and this this lady okay, let's not talk about lady maybe a, a man okay a man who is totally jealous of your work so what he does is he goes to your boss and starts telling lies about you or starts saying that you know your work is not so good or sometimes he comes you know he sneaks into your your work area and tries to sabotage your work now that person is a nasty piece of work okay you will call the person a very cruel mean a nasty piece of work someone who's who's doing something very very deliberately okay deliberately to harm your career or something uh, was trying you know or deliberately trying to harm you now let's look at a creep okay hmm so a creep is a very odd personality okay uh, as an example now you might be a teenager, um, you know, a, a girl in, in her teens and um, at school. And sometimes you see that a guy is following you around. Now, maybe it seemed a little amusing and interesting in the beginning, but then you see him at every corner. Maybe wherever you go, so many places you go, you see that the person is probably hiding behind the tree or standing by the corner just watching you. How weird is that? Okay. So... <laughs> The, these kind of people who give you the shudders or sometimes, you know, who, who, who kind of makes you feel a little disturbed. You, you feel a bit disturbed because you see this person all, you know, everywhere. Okay, everywhere you go, you see this odd person. So you'll call that person a creep. Okay, someone who gives you the shudders. Now, a two-faced cow, again, for another female. Okay, <laughs> nothing against you, you ladies. Simply nothing against you. A two-faced cow is a person who talks very sweetly on your face, but talks behind your back. Okay, so talks sweetly on your face and then talks behind your back. Okay.
All right. So consider this example. Maybe you're contributing a lot to charity. Okay, uh, contributing a lot of money to charity, or you know, uh, and this, uh, yeah, well, contributing a lot to charity. So this woman whom you know, okay, she always comes to you, and in very, in a very sweet manner, she says, "Wow, you are giving so much money to charity. It's such a good deed. Um, I must say that you're such a good person." And when she walks, you know, when you walk by, she talks to some other person behind her back and saying, ah, you know what, she's just showing off. You know, this is totally not a good deed. Now, those kind of people who talk very sweetly on your face, but talk, you know, nasty things behind your back, not just person, a woman, <laughs> is a two-faced cow. I, I, just, I just wish there, there is, you know, a certain word to talk about men who are like that. Oh, well. A ruthless person, the last one, okay? Now, who is a ruthless person? Well, sometimes we kind of uh, say that our bosses are ruthless people, okay? Somebody who is who's shrewd, okay? And who makes decisions without thinking of of or about anybody okay about anybody now why i would say um that bosses are are supposed to be like that we kind of consider them shrewd okay now in an example you might say that um, well a, a company was supposed to be downsized okay a company was supposed to be downsized and your boss becomes really shrewd and without even thinking about their employees' well-being or their financial status, he terminates them, okay? So you will call that person, you know, he's, my boss is ruthless. Or you'll call that person a ruthless person, right? No, please don't tell my boss. I'm sure my boss is, is a very good person. And I'm not talking, you know, with experience. There. <laughs> so a ruthless person is a shrewd person or makes decisions without thinking about anybody else. Now, these are the words that you that you can use uh, while talking about bad people. Okay, the first being a crook, a villain, a scumbag, an evil witch, a psycho or a psychopath, a nasty piece of work, a creep, a two-faced cow. Oh, ladies, I know you'll never forgive me, and a ruthless person. Never about my boss. No. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the lesson and I will see you next time with another good lesson. Till then, take care. Goodbye.